Hello, fellow Huvian, or uh, uh, fellow viewers. Uh, welcome to Mr. Who Views. Today I'm doing Flash Season 5, Episode 18, Godspeed. And this just continues on for the last episode with the Team Flash debating whether they can trust said Nora. Again, after they find out that she was actually lying to him since day one. And of course, uh, Barry is so angry at her. And he's also angry at uh, Sherlock for just uh, dropping the bombshell now since uh, he does reveal that he uh, suspected that uh, Nora's hiding something since uh, the first time he met her. And I kind of on uh, his side because I don't think uh, anybody in Team Flash would believe him if uh, he didn't have any proof but I don't know anyway uh, then they, just, they decide to read more journal just to find out uh, more about why so yeah they got the uh, help from Tom and this is basically Nora's uh, origin story and um, this has her uh, in uh, 2045 I think but I don't know and introduces her friend uh, Lena oh. and she's basically like uh, the Cisco uh, to Nora's uh, Barry's and well she's big Goofy, she's a best friend, she's tried making up uh, a code name for Nora when they found out that she's a speedster. Uh, it doesn't really work. I'm saying it's hard to make up uh, hero names, but it's good. Things are easy for Cisco, but. I mean, uh, Nora is still a CSI in her time, and uh, this is introducing Godspeed, who originally debuted in the uh, Flash Rebirth, and he's a bit different in this. Like in the comics, his uh, speed powers is able to siphon the uh, speed force from other speedsters to make himself stronger. But in this, it's like uh, some sort, looks like a like a ghost. So since he has like a white lightning. And eventually Nora finds out that the chemicals that uh, Gosby is stealing is to make a uh, Flossy 9 that lasts uh, longer than the original one. Oh, awesome. oh, some, some good scenes. And it's like the first time that Nora met a uh, Tom seems to remind me of a science alliance with the Clarice being the collector, but you know. and also a long dirty scene where uh, Nora confronts uh, uh, Iris about putting the speed for these words to her in her and find out that everybody that she knows that uh, everybody she loves that uh, knew that says speed, but uh, Iris does a uh, Told not to tell her. Oh, oh yeah, did you mention the uh, uh, Christ on Infinite Earth in this? Since uh, me and said that that I wrote about it. And apparently, in it, uh, the Flash from Earth the uh, nineteen was there as well, and he, Barry, Jay, and Wally as he disappeared. In that crisis, so I wonder if it's gonna be a different since it got moved up a few decades. Hmm. Um, what else? I have a few similar things to the Barry in this with Nora, like as when she goes to the hospital to get uh, struck by uh, Godspeed's lightning, we go to the song at. Uh, Poker face, and um, when she's actually again chased by Godspeed and the uh, 
call on the camera out he just gives her the same speech they gave Barry and what Barry gave to her when he her um dead wife was on a train but just yeah that she comes out of the face into the wall it's just some uh, little uh, nods to the past so uh, how they're a little bit similar but um, yeah, Lena actually dies. I kind of expect that since uh, they already mentioned her uh, in the previous episodes and stuff like that. And then, uh, uh Tom actually gets, uh, in order to take out the reverse flash ring, go to the, the braille room or the time room, whatever you want to call it. And for time, uh, Nora meets Gideon and finds her costume until now Barry actually left a message, well, a small message for a uh, during crisis in the Earth. Yeah, I already say that uh, Nora out at uh, one point, I think it was after uh, the read out and uh, Nora losing her best friend. I guess I'm going to hear the rest of the story from uh, Nora and reading it, but I don't know. And when everything's said and done, Barry does, uh, drops his foot, or puts his foot down and tells Nora that he can't really trust her and can't have her on the team, so he sends her back to her own time and does, uh, Saying that you're able to sense uh, the next time she she use her speed force to go back in time, and the end credit scene is just the moment that a lot of people or a lot of fans were waiting for, with uh, Barry confronting Ebard in jail. Um, yeah, Ebard seems to calm, you know, he's on death row. And Gord Barry ends up being emotional. In, uh, Tom says that's why he, he uh, wanted to keep uh, his involvement with uh, Nora's secret. And they do kind of like the nickname that uh, Tom had for Nora, Little Runner. Kind of cute, but I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, that's about it. And I tell you, that's how it's good. And that replay in is just great with the emotional scenes, whether it's losing their best friend or just uh, being angry at her mom when she's just like throwing about the ship. And when uh, Barry's being angry at her, then bringing her back to her own time, trying to keep bringing her back if she uh, uses the speed for her speed to go to his time again. It's a great episode, I'm glad he made it. Um, next week, uh, Barrett does uh, get some repercussions for sending that Nora back and seems like he's, uh, his anger has really gone away. Um, I was just angry that Barry has sent her, their daughter back uh, to her time and she didn't get a chance to get to take a bite her and he did it about consulting her. Yeah, there got to be some problems with uh, the West, West Island uh, marriage, but yeah, I don't see how it goes. And probably a medium of the week type episode as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, yeah, until next time, I'm Sue. See you guys later.